Hi everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com and in this episode we're going to be optimizing a WordPress post using the Yoast SEO plugin for WordPress which um, was in the previous video, um, WordPress SEO part 2. I'll put a link up so that you can find that video. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on a post and I'm going to show you how to optimize your content using Yoast so that it's as good as it can possibly be to get ranked for your choice of keyword on Google and others. So let's get started. Right, we're back on the um, wpeagle.com test site. Um, I've installed the propulsion theme. Again, there's a video on that. Um, but that doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what theme you're using as long as you've got the Yoast SEO plugin installed. Um, okay, so once you've got that installed, um, you need to start writing a post. So I've already started a post. I haven't saved it yet. Um, and I want to rank this particular post. It's only for, for this example. I want to rank it for the keyword um, custom pine furniture. So I've put a little bit of copy in and the first place I'm going to go is scroll down to the WordPress um, SEO by Yoast um, kind of option panel and there's a little bar here which allows us to do a quick search and find um, some keywords and basically this uses keyword research to suggest some um, ideas. So if I start typing custom pine you can see there's some keywords that have come up related to that. Now I want to go for custom pine furniture, so let's select that. And now what will happen is this keyword is our focus keyword, so um, the plugin will kind of help us make sure that we've got this in all the right places. So um, we need to do the title. This is one of the most important parts of, of SEO, and it's the bit that appears in the, the top of the browser bar. You know, these are all page titles, and it also appears on Google as the main blue link. So let's obviously include the keyword. So custom pine furniture. And then you can add some more words if you want. So let's, you know, made to measure to your specification. Specification. Something like that. That's fine. Um, and now you can see that it's gone green there, and Yoast has told us that we've we've included it once in our page title. So let's have a look at the meta description. Now the meta description is the bit of text that appears underneath um, your listing on Google. So again, you want to include the, um, the keyword that you want to rank for, so custom pine furniture made to a very high standard. Order your, oh I've spelled furniture wrong, let's just correct that. Order your, let's include the keyword again, custom pine furniture today. Obviously you'd probably write it a bit longer, make sure that you use all the space, I've got six, six characters left. but. You know, for this example, let's not worry too much. Okay, so we've got some other areas that need some work. You see it's got no for page URL and no for content and no for article heading. So this is the article heading. So let's just change this to um, custom pine furniture. That'd be fine. And here's the URL here. So if we just click edit, and again, let's include our keyword, custom pine furniture. Okay. And let's publish this and just see what score we get. Because the first time we publish it, Yoast will do a check. So, so look, oh, and we've got a yellow light. So we're nearly there. So let's scroll down again and have a look at the panel. Okay, so we need to include the keyword a couple of times in our content. So let's have a look. So the first set, home pine furniture offer a major measure service on all encompassing range of pine furniture. We can design a manufacturer. Let's include it there. Custom pine fern to fit into your available space, so we've got it in once. All of our, we can stick it in there as well, look. All of our custom pine furniture is hand built to our own exacting standards. Pictured on this page, we haven't actually got a picture yet, but I'm gonna add one in a second. Okay, let's do a check, let's update and see what that does. Okay, so that's all green. Now we can dig deeper by clicking on this tab and it gives us more recommendations. Images, we need, I'm gonna add an image now and we need some more words. For this video I'm not gonna write any more words but what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste this again so that there's some more words. So I need a picture of some furniture, so, <clears throat> excuse me, let's have a look. I think I've got just the thing on my desktop. There we go, and I've actually named the file the keyword as well which I think helps, so obviously 
you don't have to do that. But the thing you do need to do is have a look at the title of the image here, which needs to be the keyword, ideally. And you should also stick that in the alt text as well. <clears throat> and if you want to use captions on your images, which is you know a little bit of text underneath, you know we can do that too. And let's insert this uh, medium to the right into the post, and it's it's stuck at the bottom. And I think I'll have it at the top. Let's update and have a look. Okay, we've gone green, so that's a good sign. So let's just go down and have a look at our page analysis again. Okay, there's only a few yellow things left, which again, if you've got the time, you might as well work on. It wants me to write some more things for the meta description, add a few links, add some H2s. Um, okay, we can do some H2s. Um, so these are kind of headings, so you know we could just, for the sake of this example, add one here. H2 custom pine furniture. I'll get us a few more points. And don't worry about that, it's, it's because it's not in the first paragraph because it thinks this is a paragraph. It's fine. Okay, let's have a look at the post. So you can see what it actually looks like on the front. And then I think we're done, we've got one optimized post. Um, my image hasn't loaded for some reason, but you know, that's irrelevant, there it is. Okay, I hope you found that useful. I hope you're gonna be um, optimizing your WordPress posts and pages, getting them all green. Remember, subscribe for more videos and check out wpeagle.com for even more stuff on themes and plugins and anything WordPress related. I'll see you soon, bye.